Wow, it's a 3D flame. Hi guys, how's it going and welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of VR and also where you get your weekly dose of positive energy. Are you excited because September 16th is going to be happening very soon? I am pumped! I am pumped! Because of course, it's going to be Facebook Connect, so we're going to know all the different plans, short, midterm and long term of course, of what's going to be happening on the platform. And is Facebook Horizon going to be revealed on September 16? That's a good question, right? So it seems that Facebook Horizon have made it extremely easy to be able to change your avatar, as it's one of the first things that you'll be doing after you load up the platform. You can of course choose all the different things from the face, the type of face you want, or the type of hair color you want, or the type of eyebrow you want, and all this kind of stuff. You know, it's going to be very difficult to differentiate people's age I'd say compared to for example big screen where it's quite easy to tell from someone who is rather younger compared to someone who is older. It seems that there's no option in the avatars at this moment in time during the beta anyway to be able to choose facial hair. So I thought that was quite, in, yeah, quite interesting. This makes it challenging. Um... <laughs> the other thing also it seems that all the faces are kind of disproportionate. So either the faces are too long or they're too large or the eyes are too small, the forehead is really big, or the chin area is really big. It just looks a bit weird. It's a bit like a Mars attack. So I think what's very interesting in terms of what Facebook are doing, they're actually investing quite heavily in the technology and they're one of the only ones who are really pioneering what's going to be happening in the future. Facebook actually using 180 different cameras and several hundred lights in order to be able to scan the face itself and recreate an exact replica of the human face within the metaverse. How is some of this technology implemented inside of Facebook Horizon? You can pretty much see that when you're moving your lips or the shape of your mouth, you can actually pretty much scrunch up your face, which is pretty amazing because if you compare that to, let's say, for example, the newly revamped avatars, on old space which by the way look really cool and then if you look at rec room or you look like sensor of course sensors avatars are much more hyper realistic and then you look at vr chat vr chats avatars are very very out there and very creative the fact is that you can't really move or create facial expressions as much as what you can do using the Facebook Horizons avatar at this moment in time, which is pretty amazing. If that means what I think it means, we're in trouble. Big trouble. Are Facebook Horizon going to provide more options for brands or for people who want to personalize their avatars a little bit more? For example, you know, will we be able to create different hairstyles or can we change the picture on a t-shirt or, you know, can we do something that's, you know, doesn't require too much work? but offers some customization so that when potentially we can create an event or we can do something using Facebook Horizon, then the experience will be a bit more targeted towards the target market that we're looking to target. <laughs> Guys, by the way, thank you so much for going to check out the previous video, which is all about how the Oculus Quest has been taken off the retail stores online and no longer being sold globally. I mean, there's so many responses and so many comments. You guys are so awesome. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love this. Fill you up and leave me empty. Baby, was that to my mistake? Covering this feeling. Going through changes. Just so mad right now. Tweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and 